This video covers details about caring for EPDM rubber, TPO, and PVC membrane roofing. Cleaning and treatment should be done two to three times a year depending on roof type, storage, vehicle use, condition, and location. First, take note of the dramatic difference between a dirty roof and a truly clean roof and watch as we go through the cleaning and treatment process. A clean roof is the first step in maintaining a clean RV. Tools will include two buckets, one half full of water and the other empty, a mop, two mop heads, soft scrubber or scrub brush, some towels, a broom and dustpan, and a ladder. The cleaning process will require about 20 to 32 ounces of Protect All Rubber Roof Cleaner, available in 32 ounce and gallon size bottles. Cleaning time is about 45 minutes to an hour and a half. Check shoes for debris and bring tools up to the roof. Use a climber's carabiner and a rope to pull the buckets to the roof. Make sure the roof is dry, swept free of debris, and level. Sweeping removes heavy dirt from the cleaning process. Consider a monthly sweep of the roofing surface to minimize cleaning efforts and cut down on streaks and spotting between cleanings. A level coach will keep dirt and cleaner mix from going over the side. This is a bucket method and does not use a hose. Additionally, cleaning and treating is done safely standing up using a sponge mop rather than on hands and knees. The goal is to clean the roof only. This process is much faster, cleaner, safer, and much more effective than cleaning the entire RV. Begin at the front of the coach and work in sections toward the ladder. Spray Protectol Rubber Roof Cleaner to a section and agitate with a moist sponge mop. Collect the sludge, making sure not to move any onto the coach siding. Bring the sludge into the empty bucket. Repeat the cleaning process across and down the roof. As you clean, you may notice spots, black, green, gray, or other colors. This is likely mold, mildew, or other fungi. And while cleaning will help reduce some of these spots, it will not remove them entirely. These marks are not harmful to the roof's integrity. However, cleaning with good regularity will minimize their occurrences and reoccurrences. Allow sufficient time for the roof to dry prior to using Protectol Rubber Roof Treatment with UV Blocker. The treatment process will require roughly 20 to 30 minutes and about 16 to 20 ounces of rubber roof treatment available in 32 ounce and gallon size bottles. Lightly spray the treatment to a section and spread with a clean moist sponge mop. Finally, continue the process across and down the roof. Make sure to allow 24 hours to air dry. If you have questions about this or any Protect All product, please call us Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time at 800-322-4491. Or learn more by going to protectall.com now.